Internal audit um, has become more important. And why is that? Because the board um, has placed much more reliance than in the past on internal audit. Internal audit gives assurance uh, to the board, it gives the board the comfort uh, that many of the processes that uh, are supposed to be embedded have actually been embedded. And uh, that comes about uh, because internal audit is just a strengthened um, function inside the company. Uh, its um, independence uh, has become uh, much more, I suppose, uh, praised uh, and is expected. Its objectivity, I think, is important. Mm -hmm. And therefore, um, while audit itself um, looks at the figures, looks at various aspects of the company. I think the internal audit function is something extra which boards look to in, in particular. You have to then define what culture is. It's a very, very wide uh, ranging, um, amorphous uh, type of thing, and therefore it's very difficult to define. Mm -hmm. But as I've also believed, most of us can tell when a company has got a good culture, mm -hmm. and we can tell when it's not such a good culture. The question is how you change it, um, and ha then how you embed it. Uh, and I think that's a much more long term uh, process. Uh, and how you police it. Internal audit can help in that. Uh, there are other aspects that can help by uh, board members questioning uh, not just the top people who, um, as I said, usually can be expected to embrace the culture and the people right at the bottom. Companies basically work through the middle level. I mean, that's where uh, a lot of the work is done. And I think uh, it's testing the middle level. It's testing middle management. Do they embrace the culture? Um, sufficiently. So that's how you can actually do something about it. I think what we saw uh, seven, eight years ago, in particularly in the financial sector, was that uh, companies which appeared to be in good shape uh, really were not. Um, mm -hmm. And I think the right questions weren't asked by boards. Uh, there should have been. Uh, and boards didn't ask themselves uh, the right questions in relation to longevity of the company. I think it's very important that you look, that boards and companies think of the longer term rather than just uh, uh, you know, a particular moment in time. And the strategic board is, is seeking to do that. We all complain that uh, shareholders uh, don't think long term. Well, I think uh, sometimes boards don't think long term enough. And the strategic board is supposed to do just that to determine uh, and to show to shareholders um, and the public at large that the board has thought about the longer term future and what it actually means and that it has made the right kind of judgments and provisions uh, that the company will in fact uh, still be around. I see uh, internal audit um, really uh, giving the board the assurance that the processes which a company has to be able to make statements about its future, about the risks uh, that it takes, mm -hmm. about how it mitigates those risks, how it deals with uh, the risks, and on the one hand initiatives, which I think are important for any company because we can't be totally risk averse, we have to take some risks, but that those have been properly thought through. Uh, so I see it being both um, a policeman but also um, someone who actually encourages the right processes to be used to allow um, an, um, a risk taking under the right kind of circumstances. And mm -hmm. that kind of thing is very important to the board. The board can't do that itself. Uh, it has to have the processes and it's the policing of those processes which I think is very important for the internal audit.